this tutorial will explain how to create an OBS countdown timer for your live streams using green screen and freely available countdown animations that are on YouTube. The bottom line is that you'll be up and running with a wicked cool countdown for your live stream in absolutely no time with this very simplistic tutorial. If you're new to my channel, I provide super fun tutorials on OBS Studios, PC-based non-linear editors, and information on YouTube marketing. I'm an underground channel, I'm in the fight just like you are, and it is my goal to bring you the juiciest information to help you grow here at YouTube. Get some! Okay, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to download a countdown video from YouTube. And you need one specific tool called 4K Downloader. And you can get this software for free, super easy to set up on both a PC and a Mac, if you go to 4kdownload.com, okay? Download this thing if you don't have it. Most creators use this thing all the time to find videos online. It's a great piece of software. Okay, upon you having that installed and running, go do a search on YouTube for Countdown Timer, okay? I want you to type in green screen as well. Hit enter. And upon you doing the search, the next thing I'd like you to do is go to the filter and select Creative Commons. It will show all green screen countdowns that are set as free for commercial use, which is super great. And here we have them here. Not all of these things are created equal. Some of them are 1080p, some of them are 720. I want to use one that is 4K. So what I'm going to do is I have already made one for myself that's 4K. It's super slick. Here it is here. 60 frames a second, 4K, green screen, commercial free. They're kind of hard to come by. If you want to use this five minute one, you're absolutely free to do it. Just do a search for five minute countdown timer with calming music you can you can find it right here download it and it's yours to use go right ahead use it at will so i'm going to download this video and then the next step will be to import it into obs studio and apply some filters so that the background goes away let's get into it okay now it's time to construct our obs countdown timer i have three files i have a music file an mp3 i have a video that is going to be my background for this countdown and I have the countdown video, green screen, okay? I have all those things ready to go. And this is where it gets fun when it comes time to making the OBS countdown timer. We have two things that are of your concern. We have scenes and we have sources. The best way to think about this is that scenes contain sources and sources contain all your media files, okay? That's all you have to know. It's really not that hard. What we're gonna do now is we're going to go in, I'm gonna rename scene zero, and I'm gonna rename it to OBS Countdown Timer. <laughs> okay, we are currently selected OBS Countdown Timer, and now we're gonna hit the plus sign, and we're gonna select the file that will be the background, which is an animation. So I'm gonna select Media source. Media source can be just about anything from music to videos. Media source just means a file. I'll type in background video, hit OK, and it brings me to a screen where it asks me some questions. Do I want to loop it? I do. I'm going to check that off. Is it a local file? If I uncheck it, it takes away the browse feature where I can select the file. I want to check that and click the video. The video is called Asteroids. It's going to be a cool background. Hit open. Do you want to restart playback when the source becomes active? Basically what it's asking you there is that it will play it when you make that scene active. Use hardware decoding when available. Uh, I usually check that off because it could be accelerated by your graphics card. I don't know. Please put in comments if you know what that means. Give me some help on that. Usually I check that off because I figure it takes a little bit of extra processing off the CPU. So I check that off. Show nothing when playback ends. I uncheck that and I hit OK. I don't want to modify the playing speed. Hit OK. And there's the background. So that's looking pretty slick. Now I want to add another source and I want to hit media source again. And this time I'm going to type in the name of the countdown. I'll call it countdown. Okay. Hit OK. And I don't want to loop the countdown. Okay. The, the countdown is not going to loop because then it would just, if you, if you didn't know to switch to the next scene to start your live stream, it would just keep on going. Uh, I'll hit browse and I will select green timer. I'll hit okay. 
Restart playback when source becomes active. Yes, I want to check that. Use hardware decoding when available. Show nothing when the playback ends. I'm going to uncheck that and I will hit OK. And there's the timer. Now, let's take that green background out. I will select filters by right clicking it. Just so that you understand, I right clicked the countdown source, which reveals more choices. And clicking filters. And under the effect filters, I'm going to hit the plus sign and select chroma key. Green screen is the default, so it automatically removes it. A little tip here, this is cool. You can actually change the color of green screen graphics if you hit the plus sign again and select color correction. Hit OK. And now if you select a color here and select some arbitrary color, I guess I'll click uh, blue. All right. Hit OK. As you can see, it's kind of funky right now, but you can change opacity. You can change all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, brightness. Oh, look at that. I kind of like that darker stroke. That's kind of neat. Anyway, you can play with this to your heart's content. Still maintain some of its three-dimensional qualities. Hit close, and there you have it. I changed the color of it. So you're not limited to the color of what the video shows you. You can change the color to match what you want, which is really, really slick. I'm going to take that out for now. Go back into filters and hit the minus key for color correction and remove that. Hit yes. Close. Okay, we're good for timer. Now, you can adjust the size by using the, the little squares on the edges of the corner of the container. So you can control the size, which I'm doing right there. Okay, the next part is to add the sound. I will hit the plus button one more time. Go to media source and select a song. I'll type in song here. Hit OK. Browse for that MP3. Let's see. I will go to my library and go to YouTube here and select, um, I don't know, electronic and hit good. That song's already been designated as a good song. I'll hit open. And uh, I don't want it to loop. I want it to restart at playback. Um, hardware decoding is not really necessary. Show nothing when it ends. That's all good. Hit OK. Now, you don't hear the sound. Why? This drives people nuts. It used to drive me nuts too. It's because it defaults to not playing it through the speakers. It's the way OBS rolls for some reason. So I'm going to make this bigger here so that I can see the audio mixer by putting my cursor on this little gray line right above it and you can drag it and make it larger so you can see all the tracks as you can see the song is playing but we can't hear it as you can see it's it's playing in the red that's not good we want to back that down just so that it's touching the red in the yellow that's better once you do that go into the gear and click advanced audio properties and make sure that for the song track, which is right here, we called it song, click the down arrow and select monitor and output. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. You're probably asking me right now. You're probably like, yo, Victor, what's up? The music that I have is not the right length for a five minute timer, or my music isn't right for a two minute timer or whatever. There is a way to modify the length of your music. Maybe you want to add two and make it a 10 minute counter or a five minute counter for two songs or reduce the length of one song, whatever. There's a way to do it. Click this video and I will take you to a tutorial that provides a free solution. It's online and it's dead simple and you can make your songs any length you want so that they end when the timer stops. All right, I will see you over there. It's a fast tutorial. Stay, Stay strong, strong and keep fighting. fighting. Yes!